<laughs> what I'm going to show you is how to use the rest of the stones. Uh, some we will demonstrate, some we just um, quite simple. Um, so the acupressure stones, you have two of them, and they are thinner and longer. Yeah, one smaller one, kind of really a bigger one, and that's used for any pressure point. You can use the other one for pressure point. However, if you want to keep few that are not hot, you use them because you don't have to roll them. They are just for really <coughs> saving thumbs. Yeah, quite easy. Okay, so acupressure point, acupressure stones. Do not warm them up. Doesn't make sense because they're relatively small. <coughs> okay. Um, hand stones are a they they similar to the neck stones, but they are big bigger. You the the original um, use for is on the client's hands. However. I use them a lot on the neck because they're quite big and they're rounded and they work fantastic on the neck. Yeah? So usually I would use, you know in your set you have four neck stones, I think of them as six neck stones and once I finish with the neck stones I put them there, I go and take another pair and I use them. When I finish those, these one I take into the water and those that I use I put them back. So there is a rotation of three sets of two for the neck, and it's more than enough. You know, even if you have few clients one after the other, it will take it will have enough time to warm up. So these are the hand stones. Um, next are the um, chakra stones. If you ever do uh, Reiki, uh, you just put them. They're quite small, and I don't use them. Some other people use them every time. And now we're coming into the toes, stones, um, and. Uh, they are relatively small. Do you see their size? Yeah. Now you tell me how much heat can they return? Can they return? Not much. Also, there are a few problems here. First of all, how do you going to put them into the slow cooker and then dig them in? Dig them out. Sorry. So the the way I do that is basically putting them in here, dip them into the water. They would heat very quickly and cool off very quickly. I don't think of them as, as stones that, that heat up the body because the skin here is quite sensitive. If you want to heat the body, you, you risk of really burning the, the client's sensitive skin there. What I tend to do is put them, they are quite warm now. If I would put them in this temperature, they would burn. If I would put them in the cold water, they would cool off in half a second. So I do cool them off very quickly, and I use them more just as a, a physical uh, barriers in between the stones to just refresh that area. No, I don't think of them as really heating. Sorry? Yeah. You're just leaving them that way. It's quite nice. It's really just, uh, uh, it separates the, the, the toes and gives them a nice, and usually that's the time that you <laughs> apply the <laughs> manicure and latte, <laughs> make them, uh, yeah. Uh, be careful from those. They are the first one that you lose it. Okay, so you know you can do that. It's it's nice to just leave it and you leave it for about 15 minutes. Quite nice. Okay.
So this is, these are the toes. Stone, I just on top of it. It's on top of Harry. Good. And the last one are the facial stones. And uh, the facial stones, we have five stones. One is really for the third eye. And you have two, probably to put them in here. You can put one in here, maybe another one here. Is it worth the chance of hitting it? I don't think so. I will warm them up, the same technique, by just putting them in here. And more likely, I would think about them as just as a way of the client to feel concentrated, to feel uh, relaxed further, rather than hitting them, because it's not much. Uh, stone in there to heat them up, yeah? Really be careful from, from the amount of temperature you do. Uh, if anything, uh, you can use them for a light effleurage, yeah? You can use them for an effleurage in here. Uh, you don't need oil. The, the face has enough oil. Whether it, it's worth doing it, some people do like it more than a, a regular facial massage. Some prefer the, the, the fingers themselves. Yeah? But definitely, definitely it's really nice at the end, when you're finishing the face or before, just put those stones in here and, and uh, just continue with the rest of the body, you can do the shoulders, you can do the hands in here, you can do the legs, and then you come and pick it up. Even just leaving one would be nice. Yeah? Just leaving one that, um, I don't know, it does really help. There is something about the stone there that really helps you to really focus and concentrate and relax further. If you would like, we can try that. Do you want to give it a try? Mm -hmm. uh, I think they're kind of uh, fairly straightforward. Um, so what we can do is uh, 